Welcome. Hey Dan, can I come in? I brought you some open Clos de Bois. Let's do this. You know okay, great, I'll pour us some. Do you know what's happening today? I'm gonna be asked some questions today, I think. You are so right. How excited are you that I'm here today? On a scale of one to 10, I'm at a solid 14. <laughs> 14? That's yeah, a high. Pretty high. So here we have a lot in common. Um, this morning I woke up thinking about what I was going to have for breakfast. What did you wake up thinking about, Dan? Uh, what I was gonna eat for breakfast. So tell me more, what did you start doing? Ordering what I was going to eat for breakfast. My kind of guy, I bet I know what you thought about next, just like me. Figuring out where I was gonna go for lunch. Totally get it. Never fails, then I feel guilty and I start thinking. Um, scheduling a workout for after the breakfast and lunch. So back to that breakfast question, what is your favorite breakfast? Mine is wine and coffee. Uh, blueberry ricotta pancakes from Little Dums around the corner. Ooh, that sounds really good. Blueberry ricotta pancakes. Maybe we should make some of those today. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I know, I'm terrified and excited. Okay, back to blueberry ricotta pancakes later. Who is your favorite artist? Mine is Ashley Longshore Art. Uh, Chris Knight is a favorite. I have a lot of his work. He's also Canadian. Oh, cool. I'll have to look him up. So did you want some of this open bottle of Clos de Bois? It's super classy. Oh, no. Cosmopolitan on the rocks? Can I say that in 2019? Dan, anything you say in my book is A-OK. -okay. Well, I guess I was just thinking maybe I should light some sort of a candle. What's your favorite? Anything like woody, like a burnt wood, like a cedar or a pine, something oody. Perfect, perfect. That's what this is, tobacco bark. Mm -hmm. So I've been wanting to introduce you to my dog. This is Daisy. Can I see your dog? <laughs> this is Redmond. Hey, Redmond. This is my dog and best friend. He's so cute. What do you think our dogs think about us? I don't wanna know. <laughs> So I think Daisy smells a little bit and is just mildly smart. What do you think about Redmond? He is very calm and level-headed, qualities that I strive for every day of my life. So it's got me thinking, has all of this fame and fortune been hard on Redmond? Absolutely not. The past six years have been an absolute dream come true. Oh good, so Redmond's fine. How about you? Uh, you might wanna ask my therapist. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think when you do something that you're passionate, about, that you love, it just comes quite easily. Let's be real here. You're really an inspiration for so many people. How do you handle all of those ideas in your head? I loved doing them all at the same time. There was something quite amazing about having an idea that only existed in my head and by the end of it, seeing it come to life. It was fantastic. Okay, so next up, what do you like about big crowds? The people. So when I was at the Goodwill shopping for a little frock to wear to a Schitt's Creek party, I found this, and it's pretty durable. How do you feel about clothing? I love durability in my clothing, and I think this sweater is both durable and elegant. I'm gonna have to say I agree with you on that one. I think you have to feel comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing, because if you are uncomfortable, people can see, and people can tell, and that's not a good, that's not a good look. So I guess blueberry ricotta pancakes are out. You know, I've been doing Weight Watchers and wanted to cook with you, but if I eat too many, I just feel a little uncomfortable like you said. Do you have any recommendations? Uh, hats, but I've tried all those trends and they did not work out, unfortunately. Totally agree, me too. Doesn't do much for my figure. Oh, Dan, I forgot. I hear congrats are in order. What did you just do? A house. Yes, that's it, congrats. Thank you very much. I would imagine that's much like eating one of these Lunchables, right? Mm-hmm. I know, I'm terrified and excited. Totally meant to talk about clothing again. Do you like this? What's your favorite piece that you wore in Schitt's Creek? Probably the Rick Owens leather jacket that I wear in the pilot episode of our show. It was actually mine from my own closet. I bought it with my first paycheck. Um, I went to the store in New York. I swiped my credit card, my hand was shaking, uh, and I worn it every day since, yeah. and I'm so glad that it made it into the show. Hate to be a bother, but do you think I could borrow it sometime to show my friends? You gotta get your money's worth at the end of the day. So we're just searching for what's most important. What do you think? 
your relationships with your friends and family and loved ones. Amen. Mm. And I would imagine that's what's most important to you. My relationships. And, um, I mean, this is gonna seem sort of boastful. Don't be silly. But why not? Don't stop, get it, get it. My MTV Movie Award. That's an, how cool, I've never gotten a movie award. Uh, and I'll tell you why it means so much to me. Please do. I started my career at MTV as a television host. So to win this for my role on Schitt's Creek was like a full circle moment. That's so sweet, you don't say. Mm -hmm. It's also very heavy, so I, I use it to work out. I don't do that. Favorite film? Bridget Jones's Diary. Favorite song? If pressed, I would say I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton slash Whitney Houston. I will take either versions. Well, thanks for sharing. I Love Anything by Maroon 5, Adam Levine. What do you think of his songs? Do you have a favorite? First of all, absolutely not. That's why would I ever do that? They're all masterpieces. Okay, Dan, let's try this again. You've got to have a favorite Adam Levine song. Absolutely not. Why would you ask me that? They're all masterpieces. Okay. This may seem a little out of character for me, but I was thinking about having you over for dinner, but then decided not to. I was afraid I might make you intimidated. Well, first of all, I would have passed out when I got the invitation to that dinner. Yeah. So I would be unconscious for the dinner. People would have to like marionette my body into making it look <laughs> like I was enjoying myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door. Uh, somebody is interrupting our interview. Oh, no. I will say this, Mariah Carey once uh, tweeted about our show and I had a full no. panic attack. Yeah, I can identify with that. That happens to me a lot too. It is a big deal. I got it on the airplane and I cried. Thanks. I wow. don't know why I just told you that I cried. Uh, no worries. You can tell me anything. I guess we're getting pretty intimate. Was thinking the same thing. Uh, these are blueberry ricotta pancakes from Little Dom. Oh my gosh, the blueberry pancakes. We don't have to make them. Oh, that sounds intellectual. Oh, I've never been called that before. Um, when do you like to cook most? I feel like every CEO says in the mornings, but for me, it's very, very late at night. And where do you write down your recipes? in my little writer's nook that I'll show you right now. What kind of advice can I give Daisy about getting motivated to start writing? Oh boy, um, probably to just make sure that anything I'm writing feels honest and grounded and, and real. When she wakes up, I'll let her know. What was your first piece that you wrote? It was a short story about a young girl that got kidnapped and taken to Russia at the turn of the century. Daisy wants to know if you've been to Russia. No, oh, I've never been to Russia and I know nothing about the turn of the century. So I remember my grandmother crying at the story though, yeah. but that could be because it was so bad. Do you feel like reading that to us all? I would like you to re-ask me that question in a decade. Forgive me, but I keep wondering if we're gonna eat those blueberry ricotta pancakes. How are we gonna work those off? On the best of days, I would walk around the block. On the worst of days, I would plan a trip somewhere. Having a hard time with my new workout routine. Any advice? Uh, no, I am not a routine person. I sometimes forget to wash my face at night. I would say in that case, I am a routine person. I have a regimented I knew it. skincare routine that I don't care to share with all of you. Now that sounds intense. What kind of exercise would you say that you like? Ooh, uh, I take a lot of walks around the block like a 92 year old grandmother in Florida. I have bad knees. I knew we had a lot in common. Eyebrows, bad knees, me too. Paul Newman. He has bad knees too? And I wish I could ask him about it. I was kind of hoping you could teach me something today. Ooh, how to perfectly fold a turtleneck sweater. I love a good turtleneck. Do you think dickies are versatile too? Uh, I don't know, they're versatile, they can be expensive and cheap, and they pretty much, I guess, look good on everybody. Does that even make sense? Um, yes, dickies are way better because they're not as hot. Okay, I'll go with your word on it. Well, on that note, hopefully we can get back to our interview in part two, but I'm gonna have to take a break and eat some of those pancakes. So thanks, Dan, for part one. I'll see you soon.
Yeah, we'll try it later. Yeah, we'll figure okay, it out. Fine.